Alright, you two, I got the engine on the golf cart. Um, it's the 6.5 from Harbor Freight. I, mean, I got it for $99. And uh, you can see that. Uh, yeah, light. You can see the brackets on the bottom, all this uh, angle iron. I just walk it from one beam to the other. Uh, I put an electric fan on there to a window saw and boxed in with the plastics. It's not going to be getting too much air, so I went ahead and put an electric fan in there. That way I keep it cool because it's an air cooled engine, but it's not going to be getting air inside of a, to the plastic. So I put that in there. Over there, that, the toolbox, that red toolbox is actually a battery. Um, I use this. I have a small battery in it. I'm on. This is just for temporary to get the radio working. See a little battery in there. But you can see the radio. I saw the radio, the speakers, the little house speakers I had laying around. I just put it in there because I don't even start the house. I'm waiting for the sprocket to come in to fit right here and go to the the clutch. It goes to the engine, which is right here. This is a clutch. It's going to go right here. And then see, I'll just line up it and put the chain on there. So i got to get, I'm waiting for this box to come in. Then I'm going to uh, get the throttle cable hooked up, which that's going to be a little difficult because I'm hooking it up to that paddle right here. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Last time, I hooked up a little mount right here with the cable going right here. So whenever you pulled it, you can see it moving. But I might do it underneath somehow. I think I have a way to do it underneath there. On that bar, it moves. But there it is. It didn't take long at all. Uh, I'm almost done with it. I have extra room over here for storage. I'll probably box this in and make it room for storage. Also got all this room right here for storage. Got room for a battery. And that's it. I mean, it's really simple. Um, I don't know if y'all have any ideas of what else I could do to it besides like a lift or something like that. Uh, let me know. But other than that, I'm just going to throw the chain on there, the sprocket. Um, just make sure you're sprocket when you get it. Make sure it's a small sprocket, kind of like that. You see how I many how small this one is? I think it's like 11, 12 teeth, something like that. Because if you put a big sprocket back here, these gears back here are going to slow down even more. So you're going to end up going slow. I want a little bit of speed. I don't, I don't want to, you know, go fast, but I don't want to take two days to get there, so maybe probably, I'm thinking it'll be probably about 30 miles an hour, maybe 25. We'll see. I'll, I'll clock it whenever I get it all put together. Uh, other than that, that's about it. So hopefully we'll get to have this thing hooked up pretty soon and get it going so y'all can see it. Uh, the electric fan, I'm just going to switch for the battery. At just 12 volts, so I'll just have a switch up there. I want to turn it on and I'll make a click the fan on. And uh, the battery I'd have to charge, I'm not going to go to the motor, so the battery I'd just charge here and there, make sure it's charged before I take it out. Uh, I could hook it up to the engine because the engine puts out enough volts to turn it, uh, but I'm not going to mess with it, so. Alright, well, uh, as soon as I get this going, uh, a little bit more progress, I'll show you another video and uh, see what y'all think.